turn to another top story. Tonight, a vigil and balloon release was held in memory of Deshina Kyle. She was reported missing in June. The investigation into her disappearance led investigators to the discovery of human remains at a home on Sam Tillery Road. It happened earlier this week. They were later identified as Deshina Kyle's. Six on your side reporter Kristen Gallant was at a vigil tonight where Kyle's family and friends honored her life. Deshina Kyle's cousin, Roshana Nolan, said she used to call Kyle her little Minnie Mouse. They lived with us, and she was just, I gave up my baby dolls for her to be my baby. And it's, that's why it's so heartbreaking, you know. Never thought in a million years something like this would happen. She was one of several family members and friends who gathered on Saturday to honor Kyle's life. Lord, Lord I had to take away the anger in our hearts and the uh, uh, confusion. I'm a relief just to know that she has been found. But at the same time, it just hurts to know that a human can be treated that way. Police previously identified John Bassett, who had been in a relationship with Kyle as a person of interest. Charges have not yet been filed in relation to her death, which Knoxville police have ruled a homicide. Getting that news on that day has been the worst day of my life. Her family is now looking for justice. We know you hold everything in your hands. They're thanking the Knoxville Police Department for not giving up on this case and the community for being there when they needed it most. I'm grateful for the people who showed up, but it's overwhelming to be here considering the circumstances. Roshana Nolan says there's one thing she would want her little Minnie Mouse to know. That I love her. She knew that already, but that will be the last word that I say to her, to tell her to make sure that she knew I love her. And so did so many others. In Knoxville, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Kristen, thank you. Now, there is no set date for a memorial service, but Kyle's family says it will be held at Overcoming Believers Church. The family is asking for help with funeral costs, so we have information on how you can help if you would like to. It is posted with this story on WATE.com.